Hello everybody, my name is Arnie, you may know me as Burlap, and today I will be answering your burning questions about dating, romance, and boys. So, um, yeah, let's get right into it. What causes you guys to ghost us? I know you don't speak for all, but in your opinion, what causes that? I would say generally that comes from a place of fear, like when you don't really know how to handle uh, a situation or when you just don't want to hurt someone. So your, your reaction is to just, you know, like just stop talking. Do you like when we baby you? I plead the fifth. Why do y'all love when we're short? I don't really mind height, you know, if, if I feel a certain way towards someone, it's gonna happen regardless of how tall you are what you look like or what your features are that's not really how it works it's kind of like a, a complex i guess you want to feel like you are the superior being and if someone is taller than you you don't allow yourself to feel that way for like you bar yourself from falling for people unless they meet your specific criteria physically which in my opinion i think is overrated i think it's okay to have something you want but if you're like literally torturing yourself by not falling for someone that you have feelings for because they don't meet those physical criteria i think you uh may need to uh grow up a little bit but that's just me is if he wanted to he would true i think it depends i really do think it depends i've been the guy that a girl that's a friend of a girl has said about me and sometimes it genuinely just you know you just cannot right now you cannot give them what they want right now but I will say this, 80% of the time, they could probably do better than they are. Everyone is human and they have their faults, but most of the time, if it's really like bad, like if they're really slacking and you feel like you deserve better, then, oh well, you know, go look for someone else in my opinion, or, you know, know your worth, Yas Queen. Do guys feel intimidated if their girl is smarter than them? I don't know about other guys, but I think that is extremely attractive. I think if the person is smarter than me, man, it's, it's going to be great. You're going to carry all the, the intellectual decisions in the relationship. And, um, <clears throat> and I like that. I also like having intellectual conversation with someone. That's kind of like one of my big things. So if they're smarter than me, I know I won't have to worry about that. So I'm going to say... I do not feel intimidated by that. If you're smarter than me, I am going to love that. I'm going to eat that right up. Do you guys actually talk to your friends about us? Yeah, yeah. I mean, pr probably a lot. A lot more than you think. I, I At least I do. I think, I, I, and I have guy friends and I have my whole life. And normally I've heard about the girl. So I would say more often than not, they're probably talking to your friends about you. And it's probably very good stuff. When two guys are in the bathroom taking a piss, do y'all ever look and be like, wow? I'm gonna say no, because I feel like that's a violation of someone's privacy. Um, is that what you guys think we do? I mean, maybe if like they know each other or something and they're messing around, I don't know, but then it's, then it's that's a little sus, which, you know, there's nothing wrong with being a little sus, right? Do y'all actually sleep when cuddling or just sit there and stare? Um, I do not sleep. I am a vampire. And most of the time, they will fall asleep before me. And I will end up being awake the majority of the night. So, I don't know if I would stare at them because that's a little creepy. But sometimes I'll glance over and be like, oh, you know, they're kind of cute. Especially if they're sleeping on me. I'll be like, oh, that's, that's kind of adorable. Do guys like it when a girl plays with their hair? You got to do it right, man. Don't fuck up the bird's nest, okay? At least for me. My hair is is very different from that of any other boys. So you got to know what the fuck you're doing, all right? Like, don't, don't come up to me and grab your fucking hand and just slick that shit back. My hair does not slick back, okay? If you try to do that, your hand isn't... You will not get your hand back. It will be stuck in my hair. So you got to grab, like, a little piece and you got to kind of twirl it like a mustache if you're going to play with it. Or you can twirl it like this. Or you can come up top and you just kind of... Actually, no, don't come up top. Don't, don't fucking do that shit. Come up in the back and just go like this. And do a little masseuse. And that's great. But you got to fucking know what you're doing, man. <clears throat> also, the answer is yes. How would you like to be treated? Like trash. Like scum. No, um... I would like to be treated like I am a king. 
and you are my loyal subject. No, I'm just kidding. I'm just kidding. More like, more like I'm the king and you're like the peasant. I'm just kidding. I'm just kidding. Obviously a queen. I am the king. You treat me like the king and you are my supportive wife queen. Um, I make all these jokes about being better than them, but I'm going to be honest with you guys right now and tell you if um, I'm dating someone, I will make sure that they are better than me. They will be treated better than me. I will make sure of it. They will have better things than me. J just generally, they will have they will have, be treated better um, than anyone else, including how I treat myself. I will treat them better than I treat myself. So yeah, like literal, like queen, like like you are. You know, I I'll, I'll be there um, to like fight off evil and go to war, and you will rule the kingdom. I would just be there to scare people. Um, you would be there to like, today we passed this bill about, uh, you know, everyone having to 69 every Tuesday. That's a great rule. If a guy loves you, will he drop all the girls slash hoes for you? Yes. If a dude is serious about you, he will drop everyone that is in his DMs, everyone that is in his Snapchat shit. As soon as he starts feeling strongly for you, I can guarantee you, unless he's a piece of shit and he's a cheater, which then he's not a man. <clears throat> if a guy loves you, he will drop everyone for you. Why do guys like introverted book nerds? Okay, I'm gonna explain why I like that. We would get along. I know we would because I am the same way or, or I was, not anymore so much. I've come out of my shell because of what I do. I've had to, to survive, but... I was like that growing up. So first of all, it feels like you will feel like home then because you'll remind me of my childhood. You'll you'll take me back to when I was just a little burlap reading books and not talking to people. That's the one it. That's the one reason. The other reason is for me, it's really easy to fuck with you guys. I'm so sorry, but goddamn it is you guys are just I can read you guys like a fucking book, just like the book you're reading when I'm talking to you and you're like <laughs> Um, <clears throat> but that's more like a guilty pleasure than it is a reason. That's not the reason. It's more the other reason. For the most part, not even just romantically, but like friend wise, those are the, those are, that's what I'm drawn to. You have a calming presence and, um, you probably will like what I like, which is I'm going to want to hang out with you, just you, as opposed to like, if someone is very introverted, sorry. If someone is very extroverted, they like to be, you know, at parties, going out with people. They like hanging out with a lot of their friends which I, I do like, I think balance is a thing, but I'm going to want to spend time just with you. And for the most part, I'm going to think it is more important for us to kind of sit on that bed, watch anime and not talk to each other. No, I'm just kidding. Um, not just that, but like, I, I'm gonna wanna hang out with just you and do things with just you. And sometimes people who are very extroverted can get bored of that. So that is my, that is my long answer to that question. Do they start washing their ass? I mean, they should be. I, 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 listen, I don't know. I, you should be. Everyone should be. Does it annoy you when we ask for reassurance? No, it doesn't annoy us. I wouldn't even say that's the word if I were to describe maybe it getting a little out of hand. I wouldn't say it annoys us. But if you're extremely insecure, if you're extremely insecure, and I'm talking like all the way up and i'm gonna give you a really mature answer here so i and i hope you guys can handle it if you are extremely insecure about your relationship with that person there's probably a bigger issue there than just reassurance if some someone can give you as much reassurance as you ask for and it still not be enough if, if that's the case then something else is there's there's a bigger problem at, at hand but for the most part when it's in you know when it's a pretty light-hearted thing and it's not like all the time it's it's appropriate and and no we don't we we like it and i think it's it's a, it's cute when they worry a little bit obviously don't make them worry but like you know a little bit of concern it it, it shows that they care all right what is romantic for guys what would guys like to do or be done i would say when they make time for you and like when they do nice things for me or they do sweet things for me because I'm too prideful to ask for anything. So if you are really good at seeing through the facade, I guess, of toughness and always wanting to be tough and the strong one, then you t probably won me over at that point. Because, you know, I, I found someone that I don't have to ask for or destroy my pride to have affection and love shown to me.
but i'm just really stubborn and prideful so if that's how you are i'm probably gonna fall for you Ooh, this i feel like this is a good one why do some guys like love and affection and other guys don't coming from someone who is very much like i have very like i'm I, how do i explain this i'm not cold but i'm not affectionate at all with anyone unless it's them like that that is the the pandora's box that only they can unlock i'm just not like that i did not grow up that way so i feel like if you're experiencing that it's someone kind of maybe being a little off put by your love and affection they're either not into pda they're not a very affectionate person which is a thing which is a thing and i feel like you know if someone's like that you should definitely respect it um, for me, I'm not good with it at first. It takes me a while to get there with someone and then when I do it's you know I, We go to fucking town, but for the most part like if I need to warm up into it like at first I can't just um, Just cold turkey just raw dog the love and affection thing I'm sorry It's gonna take me a hot minute to get there and if you try it too early I will probably have you thinking like oh, he's probably not into me because I most likely will be a little bit off put by it if it's too early on. Yeah, just just be patient. I would say patience is key. What is your number one deal breaker? Something that makes you walk away instantly when someone is trying to be mean or toxic in like a cute way, but it's just coming across as like mean. I guess I would say I would say I would say if, if you're trying to be like toxic, cute or whatever, like haha ha, i'm gonna ruin your life ha 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 I, I don't want you to ruin my life i'm already pessimistic enough as it is i probably have a negative outlook on a lot of things i need someone who is going to be happy and and very positive and radiate very sunshine rays rainbows and butterflies because i am a literal black cloud and um i want some light in my life okay do we ever embarrass you when we're clinging in public you know, I think that's actually kind of cute. I think that that adds a very interesting thing to the, the dynamic. If you are able to embarrass me because it is very hard for me to get embarrassed. Obviously not in like a, a super humiliating way, but like it, it's happened to me before. So I, I guess sometimes, um, but not in a bad way for me. Not in a bad way, but most of the time, no. How do you feel about periods? I'm pretty sure that the only thing a period stops is a sentence. No, I'm just kidding. <laughs> you feel everything. I don't feel anything. I don't know what it's like. You're you're the poor soul that's going through it. So I'm going to get you candy and make you feel good. And I'm not being a pick me boy. I just probably love the fucking person. All right. Jesus Christ, bro. I swear to God, you people have so many fucking trust issues. What if he just fucking likes you? All right. God, I digress. Yeah, they suck. So, candy and heating pads and cuddles, you know, that's how we do it here at Brother LLC. Thank you guys for the questions. Um, they were very informative, I hope. I answered ones that I felt were the most asked, and um, hopefully they gave you some perspective on what it's like to be a douche, I mean men. No, I'm just kidding. I'm just kidding. I'm just, there's, some good, there's some good ones out there. There's some good, good ones of us. I think women are better my opinion that's all i'm gonna say uh thank you for watching um please make sure to like and subscribe i will give you a a pony i will get you a pony so please like and subscribe for a pony and uh i love you thank you for being here give me more things that you want to see maybe another question video something like that comment down below what you want to see for next week and yeah peace